what's up guys welcome back to my channel today as you can see from the title we are going to be doing a wrap lotion tutorial question mark sure this is actually kind of my first time like really doing the wrap lotion game you know have to try something new switch it up so my hair is fresh out of the shower as you can see we are relaxed which should make this easier hopefully that's the goal so first I'm spritzing it with water and this is just water mixed with some peppermint oil and I really like spraying this on my hair just you know for growth health yada yada you know okay the next step is so important I put my castor oil and my leave-in conditioner in um, this leave-in conditioner is from Carol's daughter and it's their warm vanilla scent and I just adore it it's everything so I go ahead and spritz that through my hair and that's just basically I really like spray leave-ins better than cream leave-ins now I don't even know if they work the same though but I just really like that if you do a spray it's not as flaky and it doesn't leave all those white marks next I'm gonna go in with my castor oil and I'm going to put this all over my hair as well and I'm really gonna focus on my edges cuz as you can see my edges are screaming cuz they're non-existent <laughs> But I'm just going to put that all over my hair and my edges and that just makes me feel better because, you know, when you wrap your hair, you still want to be healthy and shiny. So, yeah, definitely, definitely always put oil on your edges, especially if your edges are running from you like mine are. Like, where are you going? So next, I'm just using this and it's kind of one of those scalp massagers. And honestly, it just feels good as hell. I don't know if it actually does anything more than my hands could do, but it definitely feels good rubbing across my head and it's supposed to stimulate your scalp, you know, get all the juices going. So basically all the product you put into your hair is going to take a lot better. That's supposed to be what it's for. Does that actually work? I don't know. I just started using it, so maybe I'll give you guys an update later. But yeah, for now, it just feels hella good. So once again, I'm going to go back in with my wide tooth comb and just really go through and detangle. And I know what you're thinking, like, girl, your hair is as straight as can be. How much more detangling do you need to do? But I just want this to slick down really well. And this is my first time trying it, so cut me some slack. So I'm going to be using this Argan Oil Wrap Lotion and it smells so good. But I'm just going to go ahead and put it all over my head and lay my hair down as flat as can be. Just make sure it's submerged. I was watching hella videos before this and everyone was like, yeah, you got to make sure that's soaked. And so I did put a moderate amount on, I think I would say. I didn't overdo it. Next, I'm just going to be shaping my hair. So at this point... I'm just basically going to be brushing it into the style that I want, which is so cool because I could never do this before with my 4C hair. So it's so wild, like, to actually be able to comb down my hair and it listen to me, like, it's so trippy. It's weird. <laughs> but I'm just going to take it and brush it down, comb it down in the direction that I want it to be in. That was my main focus. I was going to work on styling it later just because I feel like setting it is the most important thing because if you set it wrong then there's no point of even styling it and I knew I wanted a side part so I went ahead and did a side part and then I just kind of dipped it low as you guys can see and then this was my attempt at a little finger wave at the side so I just kind of swooped it in and I thought it would be kind of a less boring design than just having the hair combed back so I just kind of used my comb and I don't know I just kind of copied what I saw the girls do which was making like little C's I made a frontward C and then I made a backward C and then I got a little cocky and tried to go further back and I was like am I actually gonna finger wave my whole hair but nah I just decided on the side of it because ain't nobody got time for all that right now and I really don't know how to finger wave so I don't think I was gonna be able to do that to my whole head as you can see I was trying but it was not as easy. <laughs> So I'm now moving on to the front and just because I know how hot it is I didn't want to do a bang in my face and also like girl your hair not long enough to do a bang in your face that's first and foremost but I just wanted to make sure like I had as little hair as possible like on my forehead just because 
I'm a heavy sweater like when it gets hot I'll start to sweat and I just didn't want it to ruin the hairstyle so I got paranoid and I don't know I was just trying to make kind of a swoop in the front I don't know it was really hard to do it was I think I was just in my head you know how sometimes you'd be styling your hair and you just are in your own head I guess that's what was happening but yeah I went for the kind of same swoop which it was hard because my hairline is so gappy because my edges are broken off so it was kind of hard to place that but as far as the back I just brushed that down I didn't even bother trying to do design I just brushed it straight down so it would be just flat on my neck I did have a problem with the hairs around the nape of my neck they did not want to stay down so I had to consistently like keep putting more wrap lotion on so that was pretty annoying gasp we're in a different room I had to go to my bathroom just because like I was trying to use the viewfinder to do it and I just couldn't use the viewfinder anymore so basically I came to the bathroom to fix my bang piece because it was looking a hot mess so I decided to go for kind of a more simplistic look and just maybe like a little a little dip on my forehead just you know so it wasn't looking super crazy so I just took my comb and kind of made a little squiggly line just so it wouldn't be so such a blunt line if that makes sense Oh, I basically just kept messing with it till I got something I was like semi-satisfied with and this is me semi-satisfied. So the next thing I'm doing is immediately wrapping it afterwards because you know you have to set it if you don't you're gonna have pieces that are popping up and it's just like nice to wrap it till it dries like I don't think leaving it out while it's wet is gonna get you the sleekest look so I'm just using this hair little wrap thing and I got this from the beauty supply store I'm just tucking it under my ears because I want to make sure the hair under there lays down as well everything flat so this is me after I took um, the wrap off and yeah like look what what is that like <laughs> what's going on I don't know how but I guess it just dried that way which is fine the rest of it was pretty much dry so I wasn't like in my feelings about having to go back but I just went back and put on some wrap lotion and I basically just did the same design over again but at least this time like my whole head wasn't wet so at this point the rest of my hair is dry and I'm just gonna go back in and reshape the front of it Okay, so here's our finished look. I like how it turned out. I think I did a pretty good job for my first time. There are definitely things I would improve on. I think I could have gotten the back a lot more sleek and just the hair in general. It could have been wrapped a lot tighter, you know, to get that really tight, tight wrap, if you feel me. But I really enjoyed doing this. I definitely will wrap more in the future. And I hope you guys like this video. Please subscribe, like, and comment. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.